so now we are going to play with the next auth and auth0 because we already have created a next auth option so we have a simple button which says a login with auth0 and let's see how it works so the inside a page.tsx so i also enabled a debugging because we are doing it for the first time so if there is any error we should be able to get it so this is a simple button inside page.tsx you can see continue with auth0 and that is calling sign in and auth0 is the provider right and callback url is forward slash and uh, sign in and i'm passing this argument that tells next auth okay use the auth0 provider for the login so i'm doing login it is prompting me this screen for the login sometimes it is getting timeout that i have seen but uh, if your user exists on the auth0 auth0 uh, user management you can use username password otherwise you can use a google uh, i mean you can use google to get uh, authentication and uh, is are we getting something we can check that session is initialized we got some data okay we are not printing any information so what we can do is we can just check if a user really logged in so that we can do by using these simple components so inside auth.ts these auth providers and then here we have access token id token and both these callbacks inside page.tsx we are actually using some additional components to see the server side session what it contains and the client side session what it contains so i explicitly created these uh, simple components and here we can see this is a sign in button register button and sign out button so sign in button is doing a sign in with the auth0 and this is the client side session because we are using use session hook in the use client side components are identified by the top line use client and inside a client side component you can use a use session to get the session so if session exists we can just print that using json.stringify and here i'm doing nothing i'm just i did a login there are some buttons like a login log out sign login sign up and log out and this is you can see authenticated true this is a auth session api so in the next auth next js apis we also have written a session api inside a session folder there is a route.ts that gives us the session information right so if this is a user information and there is id token in the bottom id token and access token and i do a sign out and now session is empty because there is nothing so i can do the sign in sign in with auth0 this is nothing but a simple page we have on the page.tsx that is just printing the session server side session and the client side session so here you can see what do we have is we have a next auth provider and session provider wrapped with this inside a layout we are using next auth provider and inside that next auth provider we can access the auth session and here you can see i have these com buttons okay server side session because this is a server component this page.tsx so i can access the server side session using get server side session and i'm just doing a json.stringify in this period in this uh, server component i'm rendering a client side component user component then i'm just using a use session hook to get the current session using user component and here i'm printing the client side session so this is pretty much simple right and this is how we are populating the id token and access token and that we should be able to fetch inside a token so if you try to see the your session what it contains this is all session information currently both the session null client side and server side i will do the sign in with the auth0 we'll try to log in it will give me the prompt and i can just use the username password or sign in with the google that will initialize my session and i will be able to see my session information the uh, either the client side session or the server side session it contains just a simple key value properties it's just a json object and in the api session also will give you the session user object inside session whatever you have put because internally to identify the session we are going to call api session okay so now what we are going to do is we already have integrated auth0 as a provider in the next auth and then now 
uh, we already have uh, APIs that APIs are going to use this session to identify okay that the session does exist you already got access token from the APIs or not okay because the APIs we are going to write in the next uh, JS and we already have a get server side session access in those uh, uh, API routes and we can get the access token there so this is like the end goal what we are trying to achieve from the next years server side APIs will have will access the data and then we will pass the access uh, authorization bearer token inside Axios request so this is the same same uh, structure uh, from the auth 0 we initialize the session server side session will have access token and now next uh, CS API routes will call the external services by by accessing this server side session and getting the access token from there okay this is a pretty much uh, overall story